The Rules Committee will reconvene. We're now happy to call our next witness, Mr. Scott. Thank you for your patience and go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, uh, after an hour and a half in those chairs, the rest of the week should be a breeze. <laughs> I would suggest if you need a shorter committee time, swap the chairs. Might. We, yeah, we don't have any time limits up here. Um, as you remember, Mr. Chairman, you worked very closely with uh, myself and with Congressman Bishop on, on disaster relief uh, a couple of months ago. Um, several storms hit uh, the United States in 2018. Uh, the latest was Hurricane Michael that, that uh, straddled my district and Congressman Bishop's district. I have uh, spoken several times on this, and let me say this, I think every member of this committee has been supportive of what we've tried to do in, in passing a disaster bill. And uh, this amendment is simple. It, uh, it adds H.R. 268, the House passed disaster assistance bill, um, to, uh, to your current legislation, simply adds it to the end of it. Very quickly, um, one of the things that um, has not been talked about much recently is the fact that the Air Force has used virtually all of their operations and maintenance money for the remainder of the fiscal year. Uh, and if they do not get something before we leave for the break, they are going to find themselves in dire straits. There is $750 million in this language for Puerto Rico. That is $600 million for food stamps. And in addition to that, on page 56 in the amendment, you will see the $150 million that was added in the House version of the bill. It is, with the exception of a couple of amendments, it is identical to what we passed. And um, I. Uh, I, I appreciate you, you being here, and I certainly am sympathetic uh, to uh, your case here, and I, and, and I know how your constituents have been impacted and uh, how this is important, because uh, you have raised that issue to us directly. And, uh, and in the disaster relief package that we passed the House, um, your priorities were reflected in that, and so I hope we can figure out a way to get this thing resolved, uh, because there are a lot of people in this country that are are relying on us to get this right. So I appreciate you being here. Ms. Torres? Mr. Woodall. Hey, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Scott talks about uh, this uh, nonstop, uh, fights for this uh, nonstop. Every meeting I'm in uh, with him, uh, he, because his constituents and, and Sanford Bishop's constituents have put their hopes right. in the process working, and candidly, those hopes have been uh, repaid with with, uh, uh, with disappointment uh, over this uh, time under both Republican leadership and now, uh, and now Democratic leadership. I understand, uh, as I know the gentleman from Georgia does, uh, that uh, there are waivers that would be required to make uh, this uh, in order, but I don't believe we'll find a man or a woman on the floor of the House uh, that doesn't want to see families affected by typhoons, by wildfires, by volcanic activity, uh, by hurricanes, uh, 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 know that the government uh, has, their, uh, has their back. Uh, in this way. So I, I know it's unusual for us to offer a, a, a waiver of, of the magnitude that the, that the gentleman from Georgia needs, uh, but he's knocked on every single door on our side of the hill, on the other side of the hill, uh, to knock on. And we're the last uh, hope uh, of uh, these families that stretch from Georgia to, uh, to Puerto Rico, uh, from uh, Florida uh, to California. And uh, I hope we don't let them down. Uh, Mr. Perlmutter. Thanks for your persistence. I pass. Mr. Raskin. Yeah. Ms. Scanlon. Mr. Morelli. Ms. Shalala. Mr. Desanye. Yeah, again, I, I want to I associate myself with the remarks of Mr. Woodall. I mean, I, I think you have been um, steadfast in your advocacy uh, and on this issue, and, um, and we, we need to resolve this one way or the other. And uh, so I thank you for your patience. I thank you for waiting here. and. Uh, we look forward to working with you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for uh, your support um, in, in the prior meeting as well. Thank you. Um, and 